What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. So Chrisel has been kicking my butt for the past few weeks for not making this video. And you know what we're gonna do today? We're actually gonna make this video because you guys have been DMing, commenting, and me like, Nate, all those VFX techniques are cool and all, but what's the ones that we should learn? You know what, I'm gonna be going over the absolutely essential VFX techniques I think anyone learning After Effects should learn. These ones are not only gonna help you ruin every major Hollywood action scene that you're watching, but it's also gonna help you create all sorts of creative video ideas, come to life. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. In the past, I know that we've gone over making lightsabers, green screen and VFX, glowing K-pop dance edits, and of course, fire in our hand. But when you're starting to learn VFX from scratch or shoot, even if you've been in the industry for years, it can be pretty hard to figure out what's the most tried and true best VFX techniques to learn. So today we're learning the most essential ones, and that's because these are the ones that are most versatile for using in all sorts of projects from commercial work to fun passion projects. Anyways, sit back, relax, take a hit, do whatever you need to do, to get in the zone because we're going to be talking about the top VFX techniques in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Whoosh. Okay, so first up on the list, we have a VFX technique that has literally changed the course of filmmaking as the technology has improved, and that is set extension, otherwise known as matte painting. So as the name suggests, a set extension is when you extend a set and its origins date to as early as 1905 in early filmmaking. So this technique back then though was known as matte painting pioneered by a person named Norman Dawn when you combine a photograph and a painting together. But nowadays we can do this to video digitally with After Effects. Sometimes it's super obvious, like if you've ever watched a Marvel movie or Game of Thrones, the matte painting or set extension makes sense because duh, those places do not exist. But sometimes it's also really hard to tell, like in Parasite, the award-winning thriller and one of our all-time favorites. Can you tell what was added in post? Yeah, that, that house right there is not real. Anyways, set extension is not just a technique used by VFX artists to make super cool visuals that look beautiful and pretty, but they're also used as a really advanced visual storytelling technique that has to be one of the most essential and my favorites. And for that reason, it gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have a VFX technique that has to be one of my all time favorites and that is time manipulation, otherwise known as time freezes. Now, video editing itself is a form of manipulating time. I mean, you're literally taking a moment of time and altering it when you edit it. But to be a little bit fancier, I recommend even the most basic edits to include things like speed ramps, extreme slow motion, time lapses, hyper lapses, loops, all kinds of things, and, and even for more niche cases. And my personal favorite has to be time freeze is. So it's a super cool effect that I've seen used in all kinds of projects from movies to music videos to shorts and feature length films. So honestly, it's everywhere. I think Corridor Crew had to be one of the first ones that really inspired me with this effect when I saw it for their Modern Warfare inspired collab with Freddie Wong in which they had this like really elaborate time freeze. And when I first saw it, the effects just blew my mind seeing all these frozen people and gunshot effects frozen in the air. <laughs> yeah, still to this day, this one has to be one of my favorites, not only because it looks really impressive, but also because the production process is surprisingly simple. If you can imagine, filming this involves just doing something I think almost anyone can do at home. In fact, it became somewhat of a challenge with the Black Beetle challenge that Ray Tremor did, in which all you have to do is stay completely still have one person move a camera through the scene. If you want to be extra fancy, you can go ahead and After Effects, motion track the scene, and then composite in all sorts of 3D elements. This is how you get an effect in which this fake war zone scene, frozen in time. Yeah, it's one of the most versatile and fun VFX techniques. And for that reason, a time freeze gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. <laughs> Okay, so number three on the list, we have camera tracking, otherwise known as match moving. I've seen this technique get really, really popular in the VFX community, especially in the last decade or so. Now, this effect comes with a bit of love-hate relationship because on one end, this effect gives us all sorts of really cool flexibility to add things to a scene. And as a result, we can put characters that don't exist into the real world. Like we could add this fake car into our driveway. But on the other end, some camera tracking and 3D tracking looks so 
blah, that it makes me wish Lord of the Rings would just go back to practical effects. But anyways, I digress. Honestly, not everyone can drop planes from the sky like Nolan or make cars drive on highways backwards. So instead, a huge number of the VFX shots that we see will be camera tracking and then the process is done in post with some sort of match moving and then 3D tracking added into the scene. Camera tracking is just a process in which we replicate a camera in 3D and that allows us to virtually recreate the scene in 3D. This allows us to add stuff that's not real like meteor explosions, fake cars or pretty much whatever you want. And if you want to take this to a whole nother level, you can replicate lighting, add reflections, depth of field, and keep tweaking the 3D track shot just to get it as close to real as possible. It's one of the coolest techniques to come out in the VFX community. Camera tracking as a VFX technique gets a big fat black mixture stamp of approval. Okay. Number two on the list, we have a VFX technique that actually inspired me to jump into the industry and make a career out of After Effects, and that is teleportation. So I think I was first really impressed by teleportation when I saw the movie Jumper, and the trailer just blew my mind. Who doesn't want to be able to teleport from place to place? Yeah, it looks so cool, like being able to go all pew, 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 pew. I, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna edit that in. I might not, but anyways. So surprisingly, teleportation is also one of those VFX techniques that is really easy to do as well. Pretty much all you need is a camera steady on a tripod. You have yourself walk from one place to another, cut the middle part and boom, you've teleported. Now, if you wanna get extra fancy, you can add things like particle effects, you can add fake camera shake and do all sorts of kind of cool, crazy stuff like they do in Marvel with Nightcrawler. But on the base level, I think teleportation is one of those effects that deep down everyone wishes they can do. And it's also one of the most fun to choreograph and design. And for that reason, teleportation gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so last on the list, we have advanced removal. Now, while adding stuff into a scene is really cool and all, sometimes removing something is just as important. That's right, we have advanced removal. So imagine trying to film a zombie movie in the middle of a city and you need all these long stretches of empty highways because duh, it's a zombie apocalypse. People are dead and you know, there's not all these cars on the highway and stuff. But how are you gonna actually do that? Well, with the help of all sorts of cool plugins and software, especially this one made for After Effects, you can actually take footage that is populated with people, cars or trees or all sorts of things, and you can digitally remove them. That way you can create a whole new scene entirely with the magic of VFX. Yeah, I really like this creative use, which was done by Jesser722 that we mentioned in the top 10 crazy After Effects techniques video, in which he created this fake boomerang effect by using a 360 camera tethered onto a selfie stick and swinging it around and then advance removing himself from the scene. That way you can even tell that it was him holding the selfie stick. That's just, you know, mind blowing on the creativity level. Advanced removal is one of those techniques that is just super cool and helps your shots look really clean. <laughs> So I personally use it to remove things like logos, I guess things that weren't supposed to be in a specific time period when you're filming. So there's pretty much all sorts of creative ways that you can use advanced removal to enhance a shot and enhance the storytelling. So it's one of those super versatile techniques and it's really useful. And for that reason, it gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so that is it for the list. I'm sure that you guys are gonna have all sorts of other cool VFX techniques that maybe I didn't even hear about you think deserve to be on this list. Please leave a comment down below. I'm gonna love reading it and I'm sure others will too. Oh, and if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super cool techniques that we're gonna be talking about on the channel. Anyways, as always, I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.